بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ فائن دس از ڈے فور آف کلاس نائنتھ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ پرنسپل آف موومنٹس اینڈ سینٹر آف میتھس سو لیٹ از فور اسٹڈی اباؤٹ پرنسپل آف موومنٹس فار دس وی ہیو این ایگزامپل آف اے سی سو ہیئر دس سی سو ہیز بین فکسڈ ایٹ اے پرٹیکولر ایکسس دس از دا پرٹیکولر ایکسس وہ اٹ از فکسڈ اباؤٹ دس فکس پوائنٹ دس سی سو از اباؤٹ ٹو rotate as you can see here we have two girls on either sides of the seesaw it means that there will be certain amount of force acting on the seesaw because of their weights which is acting downward when the force is acting on either sides it means that there will be a turning effect produced in the seesaw yes Let's say over here we have a girl of mass 30 kg and same on the other side. As we know that weight is also a force and the formula of weight is equals to mg. Mass is equals to 30 kg and we know the value of g is also 10 meter per second square. So the, by putting the values of weight we will get the answer 30 multiplied by 10 is equals to 300 Newton. Both the girls have the weight of 300 Newton. The distance between this axis of rotation and the line of action of force. The line about which the force is acting. This is the line where the force is acting. Here and this is the line where the force is acting. So the distance between this line of action of force and line of action of force and axis of rotation is 1 meter same for this case as we know the formula of torque uh, torque is equals to f cross l that is force multiplied by its moment arm the force was 300 newton and the moment arm is 1 meter so torque will be equals to 300 newton meter it means that both bodies will produce the torque of 300 newton meter but these torques will be opposite in direction let's say that it will produce a turning effect in the clockwise direction and this will produce the turning effect in the anti clockwise direction the torque the force which produces a torque in the turning effect or the turning effect in the clockwise direction that is known as clockwise moment or clockwise moment of force and the force which produces a turning effect in the anti clockwise direction that torque is known as anti clockwise moment let's say both the bodies produces same amount of torque but in opposite direction then these torque will cancel the effect of each other and the seesaw will be balanced what will happen if the both the torques are not equal to each other let's say the torque that is produced in clockwise direction is greater than the torque produced in the anti clockwise direction then the body or the seesaw will rotate in the clockwise direction if an object is balanced about the pivot or axis of rotation then we can say that the sum of anti clockwise moments moments mean torque sum of anti clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti uh, sum of clockwise moments and this principle is known as principle of moments it means that if a body is balanced it means that the sum of clockwise moments are equal to the sum of anti clockwise moments but for principle of moments we must obey these two conditions firstly the forces must be balanced and secondly the torques must be balanced if the torques are balanced it means that they will cancel the effect of each other and the body will be balanced from this we conclude that the principle of moment is the sum of clockwise moment about a point is equal to the sum of anti clockwise moment 
it means that the sum of moments about a point is equals to zero. Principle of moments. Let's see an example here. What happened if both the weights are different? Is the torque produced at, bo at both sides will be equal? Let's see. We have a weight of 10 Newton on this side and a weight of 20 Newton on this side. Does the body will be balanced? Yes, it can be balanced by adjusting the moment arm. The moment arm here is 1 meter while the moment arm here is 2 meter. As we know that torque is equal to F into L. Here the force is 10 Newton and the moment arm is 2 meter. So the torque produced in the anti-clockwise direction is 20 Newton meter. Let's see at the clockwise direction. Here the force acting is 20 Newton and the moment arm is 1 meter. It means the distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action of force is 1 meter. So the torque produced here will be 20 Newton meter. So both have same amount of torque but in opposite direction. So they will both cancel the effect of each other and the body or the seesaw will be balanced. We have an example here. It's an example of a, uh, of a spanner. Firstly, if we are applying a force to turn a spanner in clockwise direction, it will tighten the nut and that torque will be known as clockwise moment. And if you want to loosen a nut, and we are applying the force in the anti-clockwise direction, then the torque produced here will be known as anti-clockwise moment. I hope you understand principle of moments that if you want to balance any body, we must say that the anti-clockwise moment should be equal to the clockwise moment. We have a quiz here which is related to the previous example like this. You have to solve this quick quiz as your assignment. Example number 4.4 on page number 93 of your textbook. The statement of this example is a meter road which is supported at its middle point O. This is a meter road which is supported at its middle point O. The block of the weight 10 Newton is suspended at point B. So this is point B and this is the block of 10 Newton which is W2. So W2 is equal to 10 Newton and it is 40 centimeters from O. It means the moment arm between the axis of rotation and the line of action of force from B is 40 centimeters but we have studied that the unit of moment arm is meter so we want to convert it, the centimeters into meter we will divide it by 100 it will be 0 0.40 meters find the weight of the block that balances it at point a that is 25 centimeters from o we don't know the weight of the body we have to find out the weight of this body at point a and the moment arm from O is 25 centimeters. To convert it into meters, it will be 0.25 meters. As we know from the principle of moments, that clockwise moments is equal to the anti-clockwise moments. Clockwise moments, let's say we're acting at W2, weight 2, and anti-clockwise moments were acting at W1. So, as we know that uh, formula of torque is equal to F cross L. Here, the clockwise, in the clockwise direction, the weight was 10 Newton. W2 was 10 Newton. So, force was 10 Newton and the moment arm was 0.40 meter. And what about 
the weight here we don't know about it so we will represent it by w1 and the distance or the perpendicular distance or moment arm is 0.25 so by putting the values we can find out the value the value of the weight that is w1 and the value is 16 newton so 16 newton weight of the block is required to balance the meter rod the next topic is center of mass for this we need to understand this example consider a system of particles a and b connected by a light rigid rod this is shown in a figure this is particle a and this is particle b both are connected by a light rigid rod as shown in a figure in a system of particles we have an equilibrium point and that point is known as its center of mass now what is that equilibrium point and what is its application equilibrium point is the point where the way, where the body is balanced or it will not produce any turning effect let's say if i am applying a force here it will produce a turning effect in that direction you can see here now let me apply a force in on the heavy particle direction now this will produce a turning effect in that direction so what should we do let me apply a force here now I see that a body is balanced or it is moving in the direction of the force without rotating. So it is the one point that is countering the effect of gravity. And this one point is known as center of mass. The total mass of the particles is concentrated at this point here at this point and this point is known as center of mass for this explanation we can define the center of mass as a center of mass of a system is such a point when an applied force causes the system to move without rotation like if I am applying a force at this point, it will not produce any rotation. It will produce, it will move in that direction of that force. So we have known from center of mass that center of mass of a system of entire mass is confined at that point. In center of mass, the entire system's mass is confined or concentrated at that one point. Secondly, the force applied at such point in the body does not produce any torque in it. That when I am applying a force on this point, it will not produce any rotation or any turning effect. This body will move in the direction of that force it will not produce any turning effect but if i was applying a force on different points of the light rigid body it was producing a turning effect like here it was producing a turning effect here and same with this case but in center of mass the point where the center of mass is acting the body will not produce any rotation as well as it will produce it will move in the direction of force so these are the two points related to the center of mass your assignment number two is to define the principle of movements and center of mass and also explain its example related to it i hope you understand principle of movements and center of mass thank you so much and allah hafiz